So these are going to be some real short and real quick videos uh, about how to use Composer to answer some of your questions. Uh, after playing with, with it a while, in a minute I'm going to give you a, a video on how to upload these if you're using Composer. But one of the questions that came up was how do I put a background background image in? I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've made this page here, and you want to save it to a page that is named the same as your site so that you're able to find it. Okay? So if I wanted to save this one, and I'll do save as so you can see where it's at. Okay? I named this composer, and right there it is. You want to have it in a place where your site is. For instance, right here, I'm going to my documents, going to thousand dollar project, and there's my website. And if I wanted to save it, that's where I would save it. So I know only files that's going on my website are in this folder. Very important that you do that. Okay, anyway. Let me get rid of that. So how do you put in a background image? You go to Format. You go to Page Colors and Background. Now then, if you want to put in just a color, you don't want a picture, all you do, when you look at it, it's going to be like that. All you do is click Custom Colors. And right here, you click that little box. It comes up that you can pick the color you want. Okay, let's try a yellow. And... We'll go, okay, now we have a yellow background. Oh, wait, uh, I don't like that one. Okay, well, let me go back over to format again. Background colors, mm, click the box. Uh, let me try another one. I want a blue. Okay, okay, oh, got a blue background. Now then, what about if you want to add a picture? Where, like on one of mine has this moving Image, all it is is a GIF, your GIF file, and you have one of those that you want to use. How do you do that instead of using the color? Well, you go is right here, Format, Page Colors and Background, okay, and go to right here, Reader's Default Colors, put that out of there, and put in a background image. Now, you can still use the custom colors, just if you do, that one has to be set to white, okay. When you put the image in. Now, background image, and go to wherever it is on your computer. Here's an image of Fire Dog. So I'm going to double click that image. See there, there's the where it's at. I'll click OK, and there's the image. And you can use any image that you want to on your squeeze page or whatever page that you're making. Okay, so that's how. A real short video on how to put a background ground image in, because I know some of you are talking about this, and right after the webinar, I will send the one about how to upload it. The easiest way to upload it. Okay? So, stand by. More coming.